For the first question, we are given this right triangle, and we know that the length of AB is 8, and then the angle measured for angle A is 60 degrees. And right here, it also tells us about the sine of 60 degrees, cosine of 60 degrees, and also tangent of 60 degrees values, right? But then the question is asking us approximately how many units long is the segment BC. So we are talking about this side right here of the right triangle, and let me make this into red. And because I don't know how long this is, let me just call that to be x, all right? And now we have to think about this carefully. We have this side, this side, and then this angle here. How can we build up a connection, right? Well, first of all, we have this angle, and we see that this side here, BC, is away from this angle. So this side will call that the opposite side, okay? This is away from the angle A, so this is the opposite side. And then AB right here, this is the longest side in the right triangle, so this is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And now we have to think about this carefully. How can we build up a connection between the angle, when we know the opposite side, and also the hypotenuse? Well, we can use the sine function. Sine of angle a, because this is the angle that we know, sine of angle A, by definition, this is equal to the opposite, so let me just write it down, over the hypotenuse. And this is also the cosine and tangent. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. But in this video, we'll just focus on using this. Sine of an angle is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And let's finish this first. So, sine of angle A, A is 60 degrees, right? This is equal to the opposite side we don't know, but I call that to be x, so let me just put down as x, over the hypotenuse, which is 8. So I'll put down 8 right here. And then, is there anything we can do? Sure, because right here, sine of 60 degrees, he told us is right here, 0 0.866. 0 0.866 is sine of 60 degrees, and this is equal to x over 8. And now you see, x over 8 means x divided by 8. We can just multiply both sides by 8, so we can cancel the 8 out. That way, we can get the x by itself, right? And then we just have to work this out. You can use a calculator, you can just work out 8 times 0 0.866 on your calculator, and you will get 6.928 on the calculator. So, x is 6.928, and that's approximately 6.93, right? And we see that that is choice D for our answer, and that's the length of BC. And that's it for the first question, and be sure you review the sine, cosine, and tangent. That's it.